So your service is over. You recorded using your Ada Mini Extreme. Live stream went well. Audio was beautiful. <laughs> and now it's time to pull that footage from your hard drive put it on your editing software, take it to YouTube, share the message with the world. You could unplug your hard drive, take it to any computer you want to, and disrupt the flow and the beautifulness that you have on your table. Uh, that's fine. That's totally fine with me if you want to do that. However, I want to show you how to get this footage off of your Ada Mini Extreme hard drive using the internet, or probably better, more explained using a network that you can set up right here in your own little broadcast room. So yeah, this is our, check this out. This is our little broadcast room. I'm kind of working on the, uh, the wall over here right now. You will need another software to do this, but don't worry, that software is free. You can go to cyberduck.com right now, download the latest version of Cyberduck and put that on your desktop and you'll be ready to go. To hopefully better explain this, when you plug your Ada Mini Extreme into the internet using an ethernet cable, whether it's directly into a router or into a switch that's connected to a router, this device actually puts out its own IP address. And using a software like Cyberduck, you can go in and access anything that's plugged into the Ada Mini Extreme via its IP address, which is really cool because that way you don't have to unplug anything and maybe you have some sort of slightly more elaborate hard drive system that you can't just lug around or don't want to unplug. So that makes it a lot easier and just more streamlined as far as getting the message out to the world. And that brings us to the verse of the day and it says in Matthew 28, Jesus says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's get started. On your computer, make sure that you are on the same network as your Ada Mini Extreme. If you don't know what I'm talking about or don't know how to do this, your, your Ada Mini Extreme is already plugged into the internet if you are live streaming. If you're not live streaming, well, this is how you get started in that. But if you're already live streaming, it's already plugged into the network or the internet of some sort. And to build your own little network station or hub like I did in this room, all you need to do is take the internet from the wall or from wherever you get internet, plug it into a network switch, and then plug your Ada Mini Extreme and your computer into that same network switch. And then you're on the same network and you can access the footage on your hard drive using Cyberduck. However, if you wanna do this wirelessly, grab you a, it can be a cheap, Wi-Fi router for all I care, but grab your Wi-Fi router, plug that into the same switch, connect to that Wi-Fi router using your computer, and you're still on the same network and you can use Cyberduck the same way that I'm about to show you how. Once you have Cyberduck downloaded, open up Cyberduck and then click this button right here. It says open connection. And then your server is your Ada Mini's IP address. And how you find your Ada Mini's IP address is you gotta go back on to your Atom control software, press on the Atom setup app, and then there's this little button right here that looks like a little file, looks like a little folder. Click on that, and it should show you your IP address under setup, IP address, and so ours is 192.168.1.74. So I wanna type that in over here on this computer, 192.168.1.74. Okay, and then I'm gonna do an anonymous login, it does not matter, and press connect. Boo, I got a connection failed. 192.168, you know what, that might be it too. There it goes, dot one dot seven four. All mistakes, man, you gotta just press through, hit connect, and there is my my book right there. How beautiful is that? Double click the my book, there's all my footage. So the one that I want to pull from this past week is the LCG, so that's Legacy Church Global Full Service, and that is from 1113. That's it. So I want to right click that and press download. You can download to or download as if you want to, but I'm going to download and it, down, it takes it to my downloads file. And then I've already downloaded this, so uh, I'm going to just overwrite the one that I've already done, just to, so you can see what it looks like right here on the screen. 
So it takes a second to download that because it's literally pulling that footage via your network from the hard drive that's already connected and only connected to your Ada Mini Extreme. It finished downloading, let's go to our downloads. Click on downloads and I believe this is it right here. And I downloaded it yesterday, so it's, or on the 15th, so it's gonna have its old information there even though I just re-downloaded it. But there's my service right there. Double click that and I should be able to scrub through, check that everything's there. Sweet. So there you go, that's how you do it. Now the footage is on the computer that you're gonna use to edit with instead of having to pull from the hard drive, like pull the hard drive out of its home, out of its place. I hate having to do that. Unplug cables from devices, it's not ideal. So now it's on this computer, I can edit this, get it on YouTube and share that message with the world. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you need to know how to start recording, go ahead and click the video that I have linked with this one. Uh, otherwise, uh, we had a lot of other videos on this channel about all kinds of stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, great worship leaders are always learning. I'll see you next time. Yeah.